One of the biggest internet crazes of 2023 involves this jab. It is called Ozempic or Agovi. Unless you've been living under a very large rock, you would have seen people on social media documenting their journey with this jab. By using it once a week, you could lose on average 12% of body weight, even without a strict diet or exercise. And some people are reporting even bigger weight loss numbers. Celebrities like Kim Kardashian are rumoured to be users in an effort to fit into a dress worn by the legendary Marilyn Monroe. But beyond the stories of success and transformation lay a darker side, which has largely gone under the radar. In this video, we ask a very simple question. Is this craze doing more harm than good? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jabril. I'm a pharmacist based in the UK. Both Ozembic and Wagovi are brand names for the same drug, semaglutide. It was initially marketed to help diabetic patients, but the licensing was later extended to weight loss under the brand name Wagovi. The way it works is by tricking your brain into suppressing your appetite, and it does this by cleverly mimicking a hormone called GLP-1. Wagovi has been authorized for weight loss in the UK, the US, and the European Union. Clinical trials have shown people using Wagovi lose an average 12% of body weight, which is huge. That means for someone weighing 200 pounds, that's a drop of 24 pounds. And remember, this is the average weight loss, so some people lose more than 12% of their body weight. So, looking at the evidence, there is no doubt this drug works. Some of the clinical trials had over 2,000 people and ran for over a year. The first obvious problem is the duration of use. Data shows most people will pile the weight back on if they stop the injections. So it is likely most users will need to be on it indefinitely. And that brings us to concerns about long-term use. Not many people know this, but there are no actual long-term studies on Wagovi. We are solely relying on the long-term studies done on its older brother, Ozembic, which is used to treat diabetes. Ozembic has been on the market for over a decade and has a good safety record, so that's reassuring. But in any case, no long-term study can mimic indefinite use. Indefinite use can extend to many years, if not decades. This is particularly relevant for younger people who may need to be on Wegovi for many years. Have you subscribed yet? As well as regular people, some influencers are voicing their concerns about the use of Wegovi. Influencer Kim Bader recently talked about her experience after stopping using Wegovi. She says, It was making me think I wasn't hungry for so long. I lost some weight. I didn't want to be obsessed with being on it long term. I was like, I bet the second I get off, I'm going to get starving again. I did. And my binging got so much worse. So then I kind of blamed it on Ozembic. I gained double the weight back after. In fact, when the Today program asked the maker of Wagovi about the impact of indefinite use, they declined to answer. And they simply stated that obesity should be treated as a chronic disease. One of the most concerning potential side effects to using Wagovi is something called pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas. And it stands to logic that the longer someone takes Wagovi, the greater the risk of this side effect developing. Some will argue that obesity carries equally serious risks, and this is entirely a valid argument, but the pros and cons of using Wagovi should be weighed up carefully by the user and their healthcare provider, and this is only possible when everybody has the full facts. The next issue is an issue that is extremely relevant, particularly in the current economic climate. The second concern with Wagovi is the price. In the US, it can go for up to $1,300 per month. In the UK, it is relatively more affordable at £200, which is around $240. In the US, many insurance providers do not cover the cost of Wagovi, meaning that only the wealthiest have access to it. And when obesity overwhelmingly impacts more deprived communities, this serves to deepen an already wide health gap. 
In the US, for example, its statistics consistently show Hispanic and black communities have the highest prevalence of obesity, but the lowest income per head. So because of this price point, theoretically, the rich get healthier and the poor get sicker. The huge popularity of Wagovi has had an impact on a forgotten group of people. The people who need this drug to treat diabetes. As I alluded to earlier, this drug was first developed for diabetes and millions of people around the globe rely on it to manage their condition. Both Wegovi and Ozempic, which is the diabetes version, are made by the same company. Recently, there has been tremendous shortages with both brands, which has likely been triggered by the surge in demand for Wegovi, the weight loss version. This meant people who rely on it for treating their diabetes have been unable to get hold of it. Stories of people going on foot to multiple pharmacies for days are not uncommon. However, there's some good news. In early February 2023, Novo Nordisk, the company that makes both brands, announced that supply issues should be improving very, very soon. The next issue is not really a, a health issue as such, it's a vanity issue. And of course, vanity issues are super important for some people, especially in social media. Anyone who's been following this trend will be familiar with something called Ozembic face. Some users notice one particularly unpleasant side effects to losing weight on Wegovi and on Ozembic. And that is that some people ended up looking older and more gaunt and the phenomena has become known as Ozempic face. But in all honesty, you can't blame this on the drug. As you lose fat from your face, it is natural to look older. The extra padding from fat cells gives your face a more youthful appearance. And so losing a lot of fat rapidly will probably cause users to look older and more gaunt. And there is another theory that the rapid weight loss dehydrates and damages the skin structure simply because the body goes into preservation mode and skin maintenance becomes a lower priority. So what conclusions can we draw? Is Wegovi a force for good or maybe not? It's a difficult one, but the conclusion becomes very easy once you look at things from one specific angle. To answer our original question, is Wegovi doing more harm than good? We need to look at who is using it. Is it being used by someone with an active medical problem linked to excess weight? Then there is no doubt this drug will make a positive difference to their health in the vast majority of cases. Excess weight plays a leading role in metabolic diseases, cancer and cardiovascular diseases. But if this is being used as a lifestyle choice for young people looking to drop weight in time for their beach holiday, then the balance of benefit and harm is starts to shift towards harm. This drug can have serious side effects, is very expensive, and you will likely have to be on it indefinitely to maintain the weight you lose. We also don't have much in the way of very long-term safety data. And as we said, the surge in demand for Wagovi has created shortages for people who really need this drug to manage their diabetes. So if you enjoyed this video and you care about losing weight and looking good, then I highly recommend this video right here because it will give you excellent tips on how to look good for your age at any age.